Hey, good morning, West Coast Johnny, how's it going? So, um, I'm up early to get this trailer painted. My mockingbird is already outside waiting for me. And nothing's gonna stop me from painting this trailer today. I even got the shirt on. Anything that tries to stop me from painting this trailer is gonna have to fight with me because I'm painting this trailer. So anyways, let's start. Okay, I got my uh, skylight all papered off everywhere so I don't get any overspray or any paint on it whatsoever. I just got to do some sanding here, 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 and then uh, one more spot on the other side. And then I'm going to just start getting all the dust off of it. And then I'm going to clean my new HVLP gun. And uh, let's do it. Okay, this is a tack cloth. It's 12 by 20 inches. What you want to do after you wipe the trailer down real good, get yourself one of these. It's like a magnet for everything that's on that. And you want to wipe the whole trailer down right before you spray. This will collect everything. All right, I stirred this up really well for at least, oh gosh, five minutes or so because it settles. But see that? That's how you want it, all mixed up. And then you mix this 100 to 2, okay, or 50 to 1. So what I'm going to do, this hardener is for one quart. So I'm going to make one quart, but I'm only going to make half a quart at a time. So, because my cup isn't big enough here. so. I'm gonna go 16 ounces right there. And then half of this. It's at 22 cc, so I'm gonna put 11 cc's in and 16 ounces in. I'm gonna do that twice. But I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying. Uh, I'm gonna put a respirator on, so I really won't be able to talk after this. All right, I was able to finish prime painting this. So now I'm gonna let it dry in the sun or outside here in the, in the heat. And then I'm going to prepare all the stuff that I need to do so I can roll and tip it. Hey, all right, how you doing? So I prime painted this trailer a couple days ago, the, the top half. Now I'm sanding it because um, I'm gonna be applying my top coat and Alex Seal, who makes the top coat, they actually require you to sand the primer with a 320 to 400 grit sandpaper. So I have a whole roll of 400 grit sandpaper, I'm sorry, 320, and I'm gonna use that 320 with a pneumatic air sander, which is what they also ask you to use. Now they're not saying pneumatic, they're just saying a machine, which means it could be a, a, a vibrating sander that you plug in the wall, a pneumatic sander, 
but they don't suggest you sanding it by hand. Um, it's, it's in their application guide. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue sanding this whole trailer top half down with the 320. All right, I'm getting ready to mix everything up. What I have here is the 501 Alexiel 501 top coat. I'm using cloud white. This is the converter they give you. You mix some of this in, it's like two to one. And what this does, it allows it to be brushed or rolled because it, it just converts, this is really thick paint. And um, some people spray it and whatnot. If you wanna spray it, you wanna use something different, but we're rolling and tipping, so we're gonna use 5012 reducer 5015 and then right here you see this this product came out spring of 2021 it's the 5018 it's a rolling additive so what happens is when all this is mixed up and you're i'm painting a trailer you may be painting a boat when it's all clean tack clothed off ready to go once this is all mixed, then you add one capful per quart in, into your finished product. Mix it up really well. Now, when you roll it, what's gonna happen is you're not gonna have any bubbles. Supposedly, I haven't, I haven't used this yet. No bubbles, hardly any tipping needs to be done, period. And when it's finished, the finished product, is, it's gonna be super, super shiny according to the application guide. Three times they tell you in the application guide under fi the finish, they keep telling you how glossy and shiny this is gonna be. They even made a note at the very end, note, this is going to be very glossy and shiny. So we'll see. But um, I'm excited because when you paint it, it's supposed to look like it was professionally sprayed and no one will tell you rolled it. See, I always thought, why would you wanna roll a trailer? I, I pictured like painting the inside of a house where you're rolling the walls and it has a stipple. But I had no idea that it was uh, so cool. So we're gonna go ahead and start that right now. Well, I only have the smaller mixing cup, so it looks like uh, I'm only gonna mix half a quart at a time, but that's okay. All right, now we're gonna add a roll additive, the 5018, the game changer. All right, well, I got my first coat of paint on with the, using the rolling and tipping method, and my door's open. It looks like it's coming off. It's just open. And uh, I'm really impressed by this stuff. If you look closely, you can see holidays through it. See that? You can see through it. But that's okay. It's just the first coat. Amazing finish. Look at that shiny finish. Very, it just self-leveled like crazy. And that's just the first coat. So I'm really impressed. Um, the only thing I can say about it is when you put it on, don't try to put it on thick because it's gonna run. Even if it's, you can see holidays, it may run because it's kind of thin. So what you gotta do if it does run, you just get take your brush or your roller and just kind of hit it again because you don't want any sags. Because now when I roll the second coat, it will cover the the, the holidays up 
but you won't see any sags. They don't have any sags and I'm glad. Uh, they, they kept wanting to come and I kept having to roll them and touch them up with the brush. There's a little sag right there, but you know what? As a matter of fact, I think I'll just hit that real quick with the roller. And so I was able to get all the way around and I still have half my product left. So I'm gonna do my second coat. It's This is actually so easy. I'm telling you, anyone can do this. If you've ever painted a bedroom wall, it's the same thing, but you're using catalyzed material. And you just gotta be super aware of sags and drips and things. That's why you got the brush, Andy. But it's no different, seriously. All right, well, we met our deadline. It's July 9th. July 9th, it's 10 minutes to two in the afternoon. And we got the whole upper half of the scamp painted. All I can say is it's it's really easy to use, but you have to be careful because uh, you can get sags and runs very easily. So you do have to have a brush in one hand and your roller in the other, unless you have a helper. And um, what you want to do is roll it, let it kind of set and then go back around it and notice if you have any sags and then kind of hit them with the roller once and then leave it alone because if you keep messing with it, then it can't self-level. So um, well, so what I did was I painted one coat, I let it set, uh, it's 80, about 80 degrees here today. So after about an hour, I came out, it was a little tacky. I waited about 20 more minutes and then I painted it the second coat and it was still a little bit tacky, but it wasn't, um, it wasn't like almost dry, but that's okay because if you read the application guide, it tells you that when the um, paint is, they call it tape tacky, that's when you want to apply the second coat. So that's what I did and I'm, and, and the way it's self leveling already, it's not even dry yet. Let me show you, look how beautiful that looks. It's already um, doing its thing. Extremely easy to work with, I'm telling you. So I'm impressed. So I'm gonna come back out in a couple hours and check on it. All right, well, it's almost eight o'clock in the evening. It's nice and cool. This is all dried. Uh, I really like the way it turned out. I was able to not get any sags or runs or drips, but that was only because I wasn't doing heavy coats. If you do heavy coats, it will drip really easily and then you're gonna to have to chase it with the, with the, the brush. So I like the way this turned out. Now I can, you know, concentrate on the bottom. So I highly recommend if you use the Alexial one, let's see, there's a few things. One, when you are doing, okay, I wore a pair of sunglasses that I got at Walmart for $5 and they were polarized for fishing. And it really helped me because I could see the holidays. It was really funny. I could see everything while I was painting this. It worked perfect. Also, I'm really impressed with uh, the leveling properties in this product is really cool. So thanks for joining. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment if you want to learn how to do things and you just need somebody to maybe just help with help with anything. Get a hold of me seriously. And I'm telling you. If you can paint a child's bedroom, you could roll and tip your own trailer, seriously. So I'll talk to everybody later.